Now to the rest of the news. The Executive Vice Chairman of the Nigerian Communications Commission, Professor Gerbat Ambata, says the Commission has introduced a competitive practices and regulations to optimize growth in the industry. He revealed this at a three-day public inquiry on six regulatory instruments to critically examine and provide valuable insights that will guide the sector and determine their potential impact on the society. Let's now join Elizabeth Kasham for more details. The Executive Vice Chairman of the Nigerian Communication Commission, Professor Umar Garbat Ambata, said the expertise and perspectives of all stakeholders present at the workshop will help form the final instrument. Represented by Executive Commissioner Technical Services Engineer Ubali Maska, Professor Dambata emphasized the need to identify areas for improvement and propose innovative solutions to address the challenges ahead. He said a competition practice regulation will ensure that the current regulation strikes the right balance to encourage a healthy competition and safeguarding the interests of all stakeholders in the communication sector. The instrument, the draft guidelines on corporate governance for the communication sector has been introduced to promote transparency, accountability and ethical conduct in communications companies. It is important to note that strong corporate governance is the cornerstone of a healthy and sustainable communications sector. The third instrument, which is the commercial satellite guidelines, which is now intended to be regulations, has been amended to address the growing demand for satellite services, satellite licensing, licensing and orbital slots. This is aimed at ensuring fair access for all stakeholders towards ensuring that the broadband penetration targets of the government are attained. The Commission's Director, Legal and Regulatory Service, Ms. Helen Obi, noted that over the years, the Nigerian telecom industry has made considerable strides in exponential growth, mobile penetration, broadband infrastructure, and digital services. She said the proposed regulatory instruments are designed to build on the progress made and to steer the industry towards a more vibrant future. Booster investor confidence. The Commission has also developed the data protection regulations for the communications industry. In this dig digital age, data protection is not an option, it is a necessity. The regulations will establish a robust framework for data privacy, ensuring that operators respect the rights of individuals while also leveraging on data for innovation and growth. Also in line is the amendment of the Competition Practices Regulations 2007. This instrument has been pivotal at ensuring a level, a level playing field for all operators in the industry. However, as the industry remains dynamic, so must our regulations. The three-day event holding in Abuja will have extensive deliberation by experts, stakeholders and concerned citizens of all who play a key role in charting the course for the industry. Elizabeth Kasham, Aso Television News.